On Friday, 30th of August, 2024, I invited three senior economic ministers, the Minister for Fisheries, Honorable Jelta Wong, the Minister for Treasury, Honorable Ian Ling Staki, and the Minister for Finance, the Honorable Nikki Kayo, for a public debate at the University of Papua New Guinea to demonstrate to the country how they have implemented the 2024 national budget, which was a historic budget claimed by the Marapi government of 27.377 billion. The country is interested to know where all this money has gone, how this government has fared in revenue generation. The country wants to know whether we've created any jobs. The country wants to know what's the economic impact of this budget. The country wants to know how we fared in terms of health indicators, education indicators. The country wants to know how this budget will help them secure a future that is geared towards achieving Vision 2050, where we have a healthier, wealthier, wiser nation. This was a golden opportunity for these three ministers to come and demonstrate to the country that they have been appointed based on merit and not a kakistocracy, which is just the hallmark of the Marapid government, who appoints ministers and members of parliament who are subservient and who just kowtow and who just follow without being independent thinkers, without having the wherewithal to effectively and independently contribute. This is why things are falling apart. And these three ministers have been complicit in the total failure of the budget in their key portfolios in this Marape government. We expect the Minister for Finance to tell the country how he has been maintaining the integrity of the budget under the Public Finance Management Act. We expect the Minister of Fisheries to come and tell us why fisheries has not produced over a billion kina in revenue, why we haven't created over 100,000 jobs in the fisheries sector. We expect the good treasurer to come and tell us why he continues to borrow, to, con to tell us when he will stop quantitative easing and the printing of money. We expect the good treasurer to tell us when he will stop melding treasury in the central bank and allow the central bank to operate independently so we can stop this cost of living crisis that's currently affecting Papua New Guineans. We expect all three of them to come and promote the economic policies of the Marape government and stand by their performance. And if they're not able to do that in an academic setting like the University of Papua New Guinea, then what does that tell us about these ministers in cabinet? I stand by my call that the 2024 budget implementation has failed. The census has failed. Now we've pushed back the LLG elections to 2025, another failure. And this will be consistent with the track record of this Marape government. The country is in reverse gear. And these three economic ministers should hold their heads down in shame for their complicit involvement in the failure of the 2024 development budget. <laughs>